Let me show you how much heat's coming off the barrel. Hey everybody, it's Stove Talk with Matt. Just one minute before the video starts, or I show you the video from outside. This is an upgrade uh, to the last video I made where the, the um, hot gases need to go through an additional three or 400 pounds of mass. I will eventually break this down in another video and show you every bit of how it's built. It was extremely successful. There was almost no smoke. But if you really want to get the details, watch the last video. In this uh, upgraded stove from the last video, of course, the wood is loaded in here. There is a fire brick wall built up the inside of the, of the uh, barrel. Um, do not, you know, leave 12 to 14 inches between the, the top of the wall and the top of the barrel. The gases have, will then go up. They will then hit the top of the barrel. They have to come down. But instead of going out, like in the last video, the gases travel all the way down through a fire brick channel, go under a three brick opening, come up a fire brick chimney, of which the chimney is continued with these three concrete blocks because I ran out of room. There's only about a half inch between the concrete blocks and the barrel, and then a two foot insulated chimney. So the difference between this upgrade the video will start in just a moment. And last one is last time it just went, the wall went up the barrel, then it just, the, it, the flame and the hot gases just came out the back. This one goes, hits the wall, goes up, over, down through a fire brick channel, a three brick opening, up a fire brick uh, chimney. And actually, you could theoretically, if you wanted to shave uh, these fire bricks down, you could continue this fire brick chimney channel, you know, all the way up 10 feet. Or, or as high as you could go. That would all act as hot gases passing through, you know, an additional four or 500 pounds of thermal mass. Um, this was extremely successful, and I'm just gonna keep building on this design. This design could help a lot of people. Okay, she went smoke-free in one minute. One minute. Very, very good news. It's only been lit for maybe five minutes. Okay, two full loads of wood. You know, anytime you load wood other than in a really, uh, like a J rocket or something, I mean, a rocket will go smoke free inside of 30 seconds. Anytime you load wood in a regular stove, it's going to smoke for two or three or four minutes, but it goes to smoke free, you know, for the next hour. I mean, that's what regular stoves do. Uh, this goes smoke free very, very quickly. Maybe I'm asking too much, but the only disadvantage right now. Everything is absolutely perfect, except, you know, maybe I'm asking for too much. I don't like that you see a little smoke coming out. I don't have any mortar for my test, but when you open the door, there's a little bit of smoke that comes out. I mean, it's nothing, it's not nearly like having an iron stone stove with a baffle, where the baffle throws the smoke, you know, into the, towards the glass at you. It's way better than that, but I'll show you right now especially when the wood is still catching. Um, I put in some new wood, some big pieces of oak. I, I just, I'm gonna try to fix this. I don't, I wanna be able to open the door at any time without smoke. No, that's probably asking too much because you're not supposed to open the door when the fire is completely raging. And there's a little, it comes out. You see that? I don't like it. I don't like it. It's new wood. New wood's gonna smoke. And still it really until it really starts to burn it's gonna it's gonna smoke but this all that smoke's being eaten up I mean that's really really good it could be too much air coming in here pushes all the air all over the place I mean that can be a factor I'll work on that too much air coming in so I'm trying different things I'm trying I'm trying you know this and different closing some air off too much air can cause smoke because it just pushes and, and it just flies around and comes out at you. 
other than that, it's really good. Well. Let me show you how much heat's coming off the barrel. I got a 600 degree reading not too long ago. Here's an idea that seems to work. There's a little tiny bit of smoke coming out the door. Close off the air at the bottom. Uh, it, bottom air comes in, it just swirls around smoke and it comes out the door. If you want to add wood, close off the air at the bottom and really not much smoke can come out because of the little bits coming out, but really not, not much because all the air is coming in all the drafts now coming in the door. 507. 510. 550. Let's see what we're doing here. This concrete, boy, is that hot, that barrel. Concrete is a real nice mass. Concrete is a great thermal mass. It doesn't like to be exposed to ridiculous temperatures. It doesn't like direct flame. It won't hold up. But, you know, the, the run here, of course, is uh, up the barrel. My wall still doesn't go that high up. I'm convinced you don't, you don't want a wall going too high on this. Just to about here. Even, I said in the last video, 10 inches, 12, 14 inches. You, you, everything shoots up to the top. You do not need a high wall. It's better to be a little bit lower. Um, then, of course, the gases go all the way down to the bottom, through the fire brick, three brick opening, and then up the back channel through these. I'll show you these. I'm using these. When you make a fire brick chimney of five fire bricks, it's the exact same opening. This is almost one fire brick. It's perfect. And I think as long as this, this, as long as the um, concrete I don't know, what would the temperatures be by the time, by the time the gases, the flame and the, and the gases touch the relatively cold barrel, relatively cold channels in the fire brick? I don't know. You know, what's inside that concrete? Six, 600 degrees? Six, 700 degrees? You know, that's going to, I think this, this concrete's going to hold up for a long time. It's a great thermal mass. It gets hot quickly compared to fire brick. And it holds heat really well. And how, if you use these, how easy would it be, you know, at the end of three years to just sledgehammer them off and put three more in? Piece of cake. I guess is this is far enough away from the super heat that that concrete's going to hold up a long time. Okay, last test. Let's throw three pieces of wood. Once we're down to almost down to coals here, see how we do with smoke because everything's now really, really hot, and see how it goes with adding wood. Okay, here's the test. Three pieces of oak. It's aged about a year, maybe a little bit less. It's pretty dry. Let's see what happens. Okay, just thrown in there 45 seconds ago. Opened up the air. Always going to get a little smoke. That's not so bad when you put new wood in. The rocket stove eats everything up because everything in the riser, the riser is so small and so heat reflective, you know, everything gets eaten up immediately. This is a much bigger and wider system that doesn't have that superheated zone. So, I mean, this is pretty darn good for just adding three pieces of oak. So, let's see. I don't even know if you can see that smoke, guys, but there's smoke coming out. Not even three minutes. And I'll show you. And this wood will be, I mean, it'll be lit, but barely, barely lit, because I just put it in. So three minutes smoke free. Whoops, there we go. does make a difference how you stack wood in a, in a thin stove like this. Air channels on the side really helps. If it gets a flat side against, the, against one of the sides, it's, it's a dead spot. 
and it'll smoke a little bit. I'm going to show you that if you put the uh, if you put the paper here, of course, there's no draft. You're just pinching it. You're making this your door, and um, you know it's a pretty cheap door that works. To regulate your airflow. And you want to do your ash clean out, you just pull the bricks out and shovel away. About 12 minutes into the new wood. Let's see how we're doing. I'll keep that open for now. Too much everything's so hot now very little smokes coming out of the door when you open it up a little bit let's see what happens when we close the air off I think there's gonna be no smoke so you're gonna add more wood close the air almost completely off let's see what happens you always crack it for just a second first really no smoke at all coming out the door because then the door of course is uh, is the air intake and the doors if it was, you had some huge glass door huge door of course smoke would come out the, the smaller your door this is an advantage for a small door a lot of the Russians use small iron doors and they're very large six seven thousand pound stoves because it's about surviving the winter it's not about looks and uh, impressing your fucking girlfriend over a glass of wine in Siberia. These small doors, no smoke comes out, and an iron door, so it, it, glass can't crack in the middle of the winter in Siberia. Anybody builds this, you make sure you, you, have, you approach it with your cat very carefully. You tell the cat do not jump on this damn thing. The bottom of the barrel is very open. I mean, there's no uh, insulation or mortar. Um, well, this uh, over on this side, there's a little bit because it was a huge hole. And in the beginning, uh, smoke was coming out there because it was a, it was a half inch at a certain part. But um, once everything heats up, I could probably pull that insulation out. I don't think any, any smoke would come out. Once everything heats up, the smoke just wants to be drawn along the hot channel. And obviously, do not, if you build this, you have to pack the crap out of it for harmful gases. Especially, when, you know, obviously you know that. So it just, I'm just showing you how even my, my hole in the back, you know, I just covered up with insulation. Um, gases don't want to come out of little, little holes. They want to follow the hot channel all the way up. But, um, you know... You make this on the cheap, you just pack the space and up the sides with that imperial high heat cement in the little butter tub. You pack, you pack that around with a rubber glove. It should be fine. And it's pretty soft. You could chip it out easily in a few years to replace the, replace the barrel. Once everything gets hot, um, that's all the air you need. You don't even need that. I mean, really, once everything gets super hot and you're burning for a few hours, you want your wood to last. You know, you just choke, here, there you go. That's still a ton of air. It really is. Let's see. A little smoke coming out. Maybe, let's see what happens when we, some smoke coming out. Let's see what happens when we, when we completely seal it off. Still some smoke coming out. Hmm, interesting. Here's the difference between concrete and fire brick in terms of how quickly it absorbs heat. This is all the way back, the, the chimney through the center of this concrete, 168, 161. And then this is the chimney on the fire brick here. Can you see that? 80, 81. Now, in an hour, it'll be way hotter. I'm just saying how long it takes for all the heat to, to come out. If it takes that long for the heat to come out, it'll it'll radiate out a lot longer with the fire brick. Is that 365? 
fire's dying down in there a bit. Soapstone was in the fire. 971, 968. Well, maybe those coals might be hotter than the soapstone. That might not be an accurate reading. Let's see. 800, 850, 870, 600, 890 on the soapstone. Soapstone is king. It's probably been about an hour and 15 minutes. Let's see. 124 on the soapstone. It's pretty impressive. A little piece isn't going to hold heat that well. Um, it's uh, in the low 50s out here in Pennsylvania. Soapstone's the best. It's just, could you imagine if 800 to 1,000 pounds of soapstone heats up? I mean, this is, this is nothing. Still holding heat. Okay, guys, last segment. Um, there's so much potential for this stove, you know, to help lots of people around the world. I'm going to do three or four more tests with just different variations of this stove. So I'm going to continue to make videos on this stove. When I get what I want exactly right, I will break it down and show you every brick on how it's made. For example, right now I'm going to do a test where I, I lower the door. The door should go down one level and there needs to be a um, like a smoke shelf, a fire bricks across the top of the door blocking the smoke from coming back. Now, compared to a wood stove, guys, an ironwood stove, this is a dream in terms of opening the door, loading wood. But I don't, I'm, I'm very finicky here. I don't want any smoke coming out when I open the door. I want to be able to add wood at any time with almost no smoke, which maybe, again, like I mentioned in the video, maybe I'm asking for too much. But I'm going to work on that. Um, well, there's a few other changes I might make. I might design this. This is a hearth stove where the wood lays right on the fire brick. There's no grate. I might try a grate option, which would push it up in, into the air a bit. I'm going to try a couple different options and try to get this perfect. And the final thing, will tr that it looks like hell, of course. This ain't going to win no Home and Garden TV award. The last bit will be to try to, you know, what could be the design that looks pretty cool in the end, which, uh, which there's, I have some ideas how, you know, this thing could be pretty badass which is not an issue if you're just trying to survive the winter, but that will be the last thing we work on. So guys, um, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm also going to do a draft test. Um, I did remove one of those cinder blocks, and I put like a metal grid in between the, the there's concrete blocks, and I burnt some sticks, which heated up those concrete blocks and heated up that silver pipe, which everything drafted immediately. I'm going to try a cold start draft test where I just load up the, the front with the firebox and just light it and see it's I don't know which way it's going to want to go it might just come you know back up because is it going to be able to push up over the wall down the barrel up you know do that s or is it just all the smoke going to just pour out of the front um if it I don't know we'll see you know we'll see if it drafts the right way from a cold start that is a huge advantage, of course, with, with no need to prime. I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll see.